What's going on guys? We are in historic New Haven, Connecticut, and we are about to embark on a culinary experience. I'm here with my friend Jeff. How you doing? And uh, we're gonna go into Louis' lunch, the birthplace of the hamburger. I'm gonna get a cheese onion and a potato salad. All right. Drinks on the board behind you if you're interested. A snapple. I don't have any snapple. Oh. Sorry, I have green tea. I'll do a birch beer. Birch. Okay. You sir. Plain. Got to go plain, you know. Bag of chips and a birch beer. Can't get any more New Haven than that, right? You can't get any more New Haven than that. Krista's gonna be very jealous when I tell her I come here. This afternoon. How's she doing? I haven't seen her in a long time. She's doing great. So one awesome thing about being here at Louis Lunch here in New Haven is the uh, carvings that you can see uh, that have happened throughout over the course of over a hundred years. Um, and I'm sure my name is here somewhere. Jeff's name is here somewhere. But as you can see, it, that's kind of what you do, is you carve your name into the old ham, you carve your name into the old hamburger wood. <laughs> These are the original ovens, right? Yeah. They just got them to start to reach 1, 1898. 1898. We haven't had gas before that electricity, so that's how we could cook way back when. Ah, okay. Toast from 1929. Wow. So toast from 1929. And ovens from 1898. <laughs> Woo. So I used to work across the street for 15 and a half years, came here every Tuesday for lunch, got to know Mother and Pops and of course Jeff, and Pops used to love telling the stories about how they threw out the Coke rep back in 1946 and they haven't served Coke here since. Wow. A discrepancy over the, uh, over the billing or something and they refused to bring in Coke, never had it ever again. <laughs> He also used to tell the story how when they moved from George Street to here, they were needing extra materials and people sent him bricks and stones from all over the world. 
And if you look around the walls, you'll see little squares and things that aren't normal bricks that were sent here from places, including a drill site in Texas from the deepest well ever dug, uh, ever drilled. Wow. Kind of cool. I think it's right behind us somewhere. I don't know which stone it was. Oh, that's awesome. So history prevails here in New Haven. <laughs> History is something I know a little bit about. In Connecticut, whether it's Louis Laundry, you go to any of the famous pizza places, they serve Fox M. Park Birch Beer. This is like a Connecticut staple of beer. It's made right in East Haven, and uh, it's just what you drink when you go to Louis or you go to Modern or you go to all these other pizza places is Fox M. Park Birch Beer. Look at that, huh? Yeah, yeah. Classic. Jeff got the classic, just classic hamburger. On toast. Can't get any better than that. And I got and I got the um, cheese onion. So they use a fresh sliced onion, and they use a fresh ground uh, proprietary blend of meat um, that they grind every single morning uh, before it comes here. And this is mine right here. So it's always cooked to about a medium rare. On toast. Mm, juicy goodness. <laughs> juicy goodness. All right. My turn. Cheese, onion, Louis hamburger. Mm. Seasoned perfectly. They use a cheese spread, which is creamy. The onion is cooked perfectly. And it's on toast, and I'll tell you why in a second. Mm. They serve these um, hamburgers on toast because when they invented the hamburger. There were no hamburger buns. All they had were toasts, and they have, I showed you guys the original toaster from the 1920s. <laughs> oh, good. Things <laughs> are looking good. That was awesome. So they have other sides that you can uh, pick here. They have some uh, sides like desserts, they have pies. Um, they have this potato salad and it's spelled potato, T-O-E. But this is a classic New England uh, potato salad. And then they also, you can get sides of chips. Um, these are Deep River, these are Connecticut chips. So. So that's about it. And there's one big, huge number one rule about ordering a hamburger or cheeseburger here. And what is that, Jeff? Absolutely no ketchup. <laughs> Don't ask for it, or you won't get fed. You know, uh, sample is potato salad. I like it because it's got obviously full potatoes, but it's eggy. It's an eggy potato salad. Like bicyclist hosting, like called warm showers. Okay. So it's a pretty like top Yeah. So we today we messaged him. How much? You all said, gentlemen. Uh huh. Put that right there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate everything. We'll be back. Try and make me look good. It's not be easy. I yeah, the, I know the the makeup uh, the makeup artist is late, so yeah, very late. <laughs> we're all we're all going au natural. <laughs> I told uh, I told Dan thanks story a story on camera about pops and how you would tell my kids about every one of those stones. And I don't remember which one anymore, but I remember one of them was from the deepest well in Texas. Actually, I know that one. The, uh, it's black, isn't it?
1916 brick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, keep going to the right, that round square one right above. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, okay. Right there. Right. Oh, okay. 5,000 feet on the check. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. watching this video at Louie's Lunch in New Haven, Connecticut, the birthplace of the hamburger. Myself, my friend Jeff, and uh, we did it. We ate the original hamburger and you guys got to experience it. Um, I have two other channels. I have Zeke Man Shorts and I have Zeke Man Travels. Links will be in the uh, description below. And my friend Jeff here is the partner owner of Brewport, which is in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a brewery slash pizza brew pub. And I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check out Jeff's efforts and helping out the Connecticut beer scene and, of course, the Connecticut pizza scene, which is massive. Um, so, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Dan. It's great.